on the news of the day. Stand by for action. American task force in the southwest Pacific. Jet fleets somewhere in the distance have kept bombers overhead, swarms of them. Our warships start blazing away as the Nipponese torpedo and dive bombers swoop low, straight for a U.S. flat top, identified only as Carrier X because of Navy regulations. Our planes are out blasting the enemy. On the deck before us, one of our chaps seemed to be in a hurry. Official Navy cameramen are on the job as the battle unfolds. High in the clouds, an American fighter swoops on a Jap Raider, guns blazing, raising our own anti-aircraft fire.
light of hope for the United Nations. Past ruined Benghazi Dunskar Cathedral ruled Montgomery's relentless legions. Final victory in sight. In the smoke of Axis ships burning in the harbor, it's written the epitaph of Axis hopes in Africa. One by one, Rommel's ports of supply are closed. Rommel's army is on the run. The Nazi myth of invincibility lies buried in Africa's sands. Montgomery's order is forward. No rest for the enemy. Around the axis, as America enters the old world's battle arena, is being forged a ring of steel. From east, west, and south, swords of vengeance point at Hitler's ill-gotten empire. New fronts are in the making for his undoing. At 1942, the Soviet tide has turned against Hitler, rolling the Nazis back along the thousand-mile frozen battle zone. German dead litter the icy steps. Nazi graves mark their road of retreat. Under Joseph Stalin's leadership, Russia masses vast new armies dedicated to the annihilation of the invader. Russia's second winter offensive goes forward on a far flung line. The Nazis fall back before Moscow, Stalingrad, and in the Caucasus. Yes, with 1943, the tide of war is running against our enemies. Youth then sees Douglas MacArthur, commanding the United Nations troops, begin to turn the tide on the South Pacific, begin the Herculean task of hurling back the Jap, pushing through the wilds of New Guinea, across the hitherto impenetrable Owen Stanley Mountains, Yanks and Australians blast the enemy's last foothold on the island. Here, too, is exploded the myth of the super warrior. Jap prisoners, Jap dead on Guadalcanal, testify to the fighting prowess of the U.S. Marine and his army comrades. The passing of 1942 sees new battle lines drawn in the Pacific. Its long supply routes established, the United States Navy, stronger than before Pearl Harbor, moves eastward. From Australia, MacArthur's bombers blast Jap strongholds to the north. In China, a rearmed nation raises anew the banner of freedom. <laughs> If you enjoyed that, you may enjoy some of my other World War II videos. I have three World War II playlists, one of general videos, one with newsreel footage, and another concentrating on the efforts of women during World War II. Check out my channel for other interesting videos on a variety of topics, and subscribe because we'll be adding lots of new video, including new World War II footage.